I'm gonna do this. So I messed up. I had uh, my pool was filling up with water, and I went and bought a new uh, fill fill valve because this one was was shooting water out, and I basically followed everything on the instructions for these quirky uh, quirky brand um, toilet uh, fillers and so I got the same one and I put this in I shut the water off already so I'm gonna unscrew this and take this out because I gotta put nut on the bottom because I didn't put a nut to tighten this and so I'll take this out and show you what this looks like and so get this off so the rubber gasket comes off because I didn't even use the the plumber's tape didn't even get used because it wasn't going down far enough. So let me take this off. And I'm going to take this off. This is to make it so it doesn't move down. But I don't need that. for that and I couldn't find it oh well so take this old plumber's tape off which was poorly done by me that's some kind of okay then I'm gonna put this it says on here fill this side up so we're gonna put screw that in first all the way to the top and I didn't do that yesterday and beveled side there's a little bevel on here lip have that going facing down it gives a tight fit so you stick that on there next then some plumber's tape. Let's see here. That's the best way to do this. Plumber's tape. a couple times clockwise this will help get in there sealed I did I did about three times and then this adjusts you just turn this and you can adjust the height so the water adjust it. I'm going to lock it down, adjust it after I tighten it down. And this sets, it screws in. And 
Now my water started getting high in the pool and I'm like, what is going on? Never been that high. I'm gonna take this off. This has a uh, shutoff valve on the top. I really don't need that tube. stick my hand in there so I can feel where it's going because I can't see. There it is. Okay. Screw that in. Clockwise. It's going to be hand tight so you don't want to crank it too much. These are I got a military discount. It only cost me $8.98. So these are cheap. So I would just put in a new one. You have issues. Okay, hand tight. And then this one, the pool guy did not stick the nut on this to tighten it. So I am going to take and screw if I can fit my hand in there screw that nut down to get that gasket tight so you turn that clockwise until it gets tight against that rubber gasket and seals the uh, connection to the bottom of the and so I'm tightening that right now pushing that down until it gets that rubber gasket's tight to the base. Keeps the water seal working. It's like in your toilet bowl. <clears throat> nice and tight. Okay, and then you can adjust your height. Let me get my camera to show. So now you can turn this and you can lower this to get your height. So I need the water to drop. I want it to be a little lower than it is. So then when you tight turn that, it locks it. So you can adjust it up and down. Oops. It's 15 inches. See, I can go down. So we're going to go about right there. And that's... cover came off okay I can put this tube back on there I think I will let me put that tube back on there and it'll turn the water back on So when the hot weather's here and the temperature evaporates the pool, this will fill it. I don't know anything about pools, so I gotta get on YouTube and learn. And this guy taught me how to do that, so. And then, go turn the water on and see if there's any water coming out of that.
check for leaks. There's no water running out of that. So the valve shut off is working. And the pool line is just about two inches from the top of this thing. So um, as the uh, heat evaporates, this will get down to that level. And then it goes below that, it'll fill it from here. So that's how you do that. It's pretty easy. And it's only, you know, less than $9 with my discount. 